What's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this character, and well, today we're going up against Terra Illusion, and this is actually an admin on the Lithia region, due to the original opponent that I was gonna have battle repeat, has been absent for one week, Terra took it upon itself to take the um, Urban Gym Badge, or Gym Orb, and you don't really bring the brawn here, and Urban Basically meant and I didn't know that until we actually started off that is humanoids basically and what you can find uh, Just in the urban cities, so I get that Scared of that and of course it's a doubles battle as you guys know I am NOT a VGC player, but I was so like focused on that I just need a badge and I'm gonna play the same type of strategy I did when I got my second badge and hope that that works now, look at to his team, we got two fighting types with both related hit points up, we got um, Gadwa, Magnuson, Ambipalm and Cliff Key. So we actually got quite a team here, a lot of bulk, I'm expecting Magnuson to be air ballooned. And really here, and I gotta be honest, the only thought I had was, if I can get Sigilyph for a good range of HP and keep the sand up, I should be good to go, as long as it doesn't have anything that could stop my... Sandstorm, I should actually be able to manage this team and um, really here I just need Excadrill and Stoutland to shine um, and hope that that works so um, yeah with all this my guys um, let's go <laughs> so right from the start here I was only having really one fun in mind and that was like set up sand and I know that Rotom could deal with most of his threats so I'm gonna send up Helios and Brex and uh, he's gonna go with the pom pom and the cliff key. So I kinda knew that, you know, even with a setup to sandstorm, it might be very likely for him to go for a fake out on anything else. And that's fine, I'm just gonna retaliate with an earthquake. I was going for an earthquake and a hydro pump on the ammo pump. But he is gonna show me the rain dance. I was like, oh, no, 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 he will win this weather war. If, so I can't really sack Tyrannosaur because I did actually take away, and I can't resist this enough, I did take away my Powdown because, well, I really need a ditto for this to the double battle. So that means that during this format I can't sack my Tyranitar. Tyranitar has to live, it has to die after the Cliff Key, so he can't stop the rain. And that was super annoying, so he's gonna go for Protect here, definitely walling himself. I decided to go for Rest in case he went for a double punch or a double hit, so I knew I could kind of take those two and recover back on, so I pretty much waste my Chesto here, while I'm back on track, it's it's not good, and of course the Earthquake here from Tyranitar, it's not gonna do a whole lot to this Hitman's up. he's actually eating that up, and um, I need to get out of here, I know he's gonna go for the close combat, there is no way he would have no um, go differently about this, so I was thinking that he might sack the Ambipalm or um, you know, um, say it in. So I decided to go for a hydro pump, and it does a good chunk. That's easily 50%. But it's, with the citrus, it's gonna come back on. And here's a close combo with Sigilyph, which of course is gonna eat that because it's a freaking Sigilyph that everybody just loves it so much. And basically, here I wanted him to preserve his Gallade, you know, trying to force me to attack. So I decided to go for Thunder Wave on the Gallade, and I was really hoping it didn't have the Leaf Blade. And. Uh, yeah, he had that, and that roughly take 50%, so I will outspeed here due to, of course, I'm pulling off a Thunder Wave on the Gallade, so I'm gonna go try to survive a potential Hyper Voice from the God of War and, you know, T-Wave that thing too, because if I, you know, turn down the speed on those, I don't really need the sand, uh, so that was definitely a play I wanted to make, so he's going to Mega Evolve here, Mega God of War, yes, what a pro, entering the fray with Hyper Voice, Hitting both Pokemons, um, it's gonna be generally dangerous. So, Sigil does have speed because it's faster. Um, so, here's the Hyper Voice, and sadly, my Helo Helios is gonna fall. And this is practically, this is actually the second time um, since I started these battles where I actually wrote them fall. It never dies usually. So, that was tough. That was really tough. So, I'm gonna bring, oh yeah! And I was really, really hoping to snag a Mega Gardevoir. I get the Gallade, sadly, and it's not gonna work, and I have to... That was a bad play, honestly. I should just have gone to Rex directly and set up the sand, because that would actually force him to go for his... Um, oh, what do you call it? Had to go to his Klefki. I knew that that was something I really wanted it. 
So anyway, he's gonna go for Intimidation, of course that's not gonna do a whole lot, it might set down my stall power a bit, but I'm just gonna keep Cosmic powering. I know it's cheap, I know guys, I know, I am fully aware of that. So he's gonna for Hyper Voice, and even with the sand up, my Tyranitar is basically just falling apart by that. And I can't pull, you know, another stunt like that. Um, there is no way I can use my Tranitor as a switch in this sack for at this point on. And I'm not gonna sack it because still, Clefki has rain dance. I guess I can't do that. So I'm gonna bring, oh yeah, back again. And uh, this time I'm gonna snag Hitman's up. Yeah, no, may I guard over here. That's, that's just terrible. And um, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's not what I wanted. Uh, he's gonna go for the Y guard. I had no idea how Y guard worked, so I had to uh, during the spell. I had to look at the um, attack decks on Bulbapedia. So it does defend from hits that hit multiple, like to both targets. Uh, so that's good. That's actually good to know. So it doesn't hit for a single use, but only with uh, if they hit both. So that means that Y guard. If I use that with my, oh yeah. Then I can actually defend us both from the Hyper Voice, but he will actually switch out, and that's bad. He's gonna go to his Magn Zone, and what makes that worse is that I probably shouldn't go for close combat here on the Magn Zone, because that would actually have worked much better. So I lose my oh yeah, so right now, um, we're actually 6 for 4 here, and that's, that's bad. He actually has a lot of Pokemon left, and I don't. So I'm gonna bring Excadrill here, and the... Um, Actually, I was really, really hoping that my opponent was, uh, you know, in a sackish move, and uh, I decided here to go for an EQ. Uh, so we're gonna go to Pom Pom, and um, yeah, this play is actually kind of bad. I should just have gone for an Iron Head or a Rock Slide, and you know, destroying the Air Balloon. I have no idea why I did not do that. And looking for this perspective, it's. It's a very bad thing because I do go for the stored power or the cosmic power here. And he's going for hidden power fire, of course, and I probably should have suspected that. And uh, my extra drill is down for count. But I did realize once that ha was happening that I might actually get the Terra to play much more offensively, you know, stop walling if I lose my Excadrill. So, yeah, it might sound weird, I know that. But I decided that. It's better if I lose his Pokemon, so I decided to go for single hits here for Iron Head because I did suspect the potential of um, uh, what do you call it, the Wide God. So you know that worked. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that play, and I'm gonna lose Kaiser. And this is the first time just going down. Like I said, I only really sacked it because I was believing that if I did a play like this, that Terra was gonna stop walling. You know, and really think that he could uh, come through here and actually play much more aggressive. So of course I'm gonna do the aggressive play myself, predicting him to switch out to something, and he's gonna sadly go to his Siegfried, which is the Paralyzed Glade, and um, yeah, that is not what I wanted. Uh, while the return is annihilating his Glade, because Wolf is just that kind of guy, he's like he's not dealing with that. Um, I'm just I'm not gonna do any real damage here, and um, he's gonna get an honest chance here to bring the. Monster is Klefki, you know, get away the... Um, I think it's gonna switch into Klefki. Yeah, just to get away the Rain Dance, and I was really fearing that. So he's gonna go for a Protect here with his Glade, stalling out the turns here, while he goes for a Light Screen, and that was just like, oh, no. So now my Heat Wave will not do any damage, plus, of course, my return is not doing any damage to Glade. So my main thought process was here, like, alright. I probably need to kill the Klefki, he's gonna stall out his turns, I had that in mind that he, that is definitely what he's gonna do, there is no way he would have played like that if it weren't for that very reason, and there we have it, there is the Rain Dance, so I'm gonna summon all my power, and I actually went for Magnus, alright, <laughs> so I, I did not have that idea right then, there and then, I got that idea once this was going on, because now I did realize that he's He's gonna soak that damage against, uh, like with the rain and light screen, my heat wave will do nothing. So stored power is the better choice, and we're just going to go two to one against the Klefki, and that thing is gone. Get out of here, Klefki! Get out of here! So I only actually only have three Pokémon left. That is the Klefki, Tyranitar, and the Stoutland. Uh, no, not Klefki, Sigilyph, which I actually have yet to switch out, which is actually kind of funny. It just has been hanging around, just so. Having cosmic power up and you know your shielding, roosting, stored power in. I love that guy. What a, what a man, mean motherfucker, really. 
So anyway, he's gonna go for protect, probably predicting me to go for um, um for um return there because he might be built at speed. But I'm not gonna do that. Like I said, I need to sass some up. That's the only play I got. So Rex is gonna fall. Rex did nothing this battle really, besides the earthquake in the beginning. But that was really all he needed. And uh, yeah. We're gonna bring Fulf here, and this is the last two Pokemons on my team. And he's gonna switch out to his mid one top just to really get intimidation going. You know what? That's fine. I get it. I get it. I mean, there is no way you can stop this by any, any means, really. But Fulf is not feeling the intimidation. You know, his attack might be lower, but that is not enough to stop him from one shot at that range. And of course, the stored power will take out the Magnus on that range. So that's good, we still have 6 turns of sand, so I'm in a good position, Lightspring wears off, his last Pokemon is the Mega Gardevoir, and um, he is basically, like I said on the chat here, oh, he was hoping that uh, the sand would end, so he was going for a double protect, you know, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty ballsy because it do, does pull that off, and he's gonna go for a third protect, but sadly, it will not be enough. And um, Stoutland is gonna you know, summon his strength, and he's gonna take that married piece of shit out of here. And that is GG. So, yeah, Terra Lucian, awesome game, man, really. Um, like I said there on the chat, really, if, if you guys wanna know, I do see him as a better player than I was in this battle. I only win because I was kinda trying to get inside his head that it kinda worked, kinda worked. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, the thing I mean, meant by you know, getting inside his head was more if I lose more Pokemon, he will play more offensively and less bulkier. And I was really hoping that he would, you know, act that way. It, that's like that's the thing you do when you have momentum. You're trying to, you know, preserve that, to keep it going. So, I really just wanted that to shift. Like, I wanted him to play more aggressive so I could hit the things I really wanted and, you know, really over, over you know, just over predict as much as I could until something went down and he, you know he had this game to uh, you know quite well it wasn't until I lost my Excadrill like I was just like all right this is how we must do it we must make him play aggressively and it worked and um, had I you know back down there I would have lost I, I really would have and so I knew I had to shift momentum and hope that he wasn't catching up and of course winning the weather war uh, the cleft key was definitely the key here for him, and him losing that, I don't think he was uh, thinking that uh, I was going even with resisted damage to try to take that thing down, and in doubles it actually worked, uh, which obviously was lucky for me. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you to Alush for you know, taking the time for you know, helping out with my 7th orb. Yeah, that's right, my 6th orb, I actually already got that one too, but um, I got that by uh, my opponent um, for Alushin because of, I might as well up, update you guys on this, I got that due to, well, he had a faulty connection, or we couldn't really battle because of the connection, so we pretty much ended on a note that um, I, I probably would have win in the end, so therefore um, I got to all because we had such an issue with the time zones, and you know, I proved my words so far, so he felt confident in giving me that, and uh, you know, I did not say anything against him. I, I thought, um, I definitely thought it was really nice of him actually, you know, pulling a stunt like that. So, for Illusion, thank you, of course, for that. And to Terra Illusion, damn it, man, what a game. Um, I really like this one because, like I said, I don't play VGC. And I think you did the greatest plays ever. I just, I shouldn't have won, but I did because of, like I said, I tried to do something different, and it might just have been enough to, you know, come through eventually. Um, but yeah, you played a great game, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. So I want to thank you everybody for watching, of course. If you like this battle, make sure to leave just that, a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember guys, sky's limit. So have a good day, and take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.